Those are love punches. Hi, beautiful. Thanks for being here. You look stunning. Fabulous, amazing, gorgeous, beautiful. Just every one of those words. You are those words. Thank you for being here. What we're doing is we're watching people dye their hair green. A color that a lot of people don't like. A color that a lot of people seem to be scared of. Seem to think like, mmm, the green does not look good on me. But actually, green is one of my favorite hair colors. It is so beautiful because not a lot of people do it. And it's still just a color that hasn't been fully tapped into. A color that hasn't been used and abused. Maybe 2020 is the year for the green hair. We shall see. So let's watch some people color their hair from blonde to green. Let's do it. Our first green hair color transformation is gonna be by J Fam. Her video is called Hair Transformation. I dye my hair again. Phantom Green Arctic Fox. Ooh, Phantom Green sounds like a fun color that I must see happen today. All right, let's begin. Okay, so this is a professionally done color. We're bleaching our roots. Okay, that's what's going on here. What are we doing? I thought we were going green. Stripping out the old color. Oh, it looks like she had some pink going on in there. A lot of different things going on all in that one head of hers. I mean, definitely we may, we're making progress here. We're getting towards a beautiful clean slate to lay the green color over. We're looking for a perfectly blonde, beautiful, clean palette to work with. And we're getting there. So far is do Malibu's DDL, which is the direct dye lifter to kind of remove most of the color. And next we're going to touch up my roots. Okay, woo! Let's get our clean blonde, woo! There's still banding in my hair. Yeah. It looks nice, um, but underneath... Bruh. Oh, and I freaking ooh! We're like, your hair's so light though, don't, don't do a color. It'll just cover everything that we did, but there's just so much banding. I'll show you the back. Ooh, that would drive me crazy. Oh, oh, we love mac and cheese, okay. <laughs> All this didn't lift me high enough and just left like chunks of my hair uncolored. So that's really hard to fix. And I don't know if I want to make someone go through the time of fixing that. We never know what the colorist was really working with. You know, I didn't get to see her hair before the colorist went for it. You know, I didn't get to see every little piece of hair down here. We just saw kind of the top. However, I don't know if I would have left a client like that. Ooh, girl, it was patchy. And honestly, it should have been a really easy fix. But again, I didn't see the whole head. I only saw the top part and it looked really easy to fix. I mean, it just had some leftover like pink pigment in it. Really should have been fixed with, you know, foils, painting that banding, putting a foil there to heat it up and get rid of all the banding and just using the correct developers on the root versus the midsections just to like completely get this hair to a beautiful white blank slate. Shouldn't have been that hard from what I can see here, but I wasn't the stylist working on it. You never ever know. However, her hair does look slightly rough. So I can see why she's probably gonna go home and color her hair green. We'll see. There it is. We're going for it. Ooh, it's like an emerald green. Yo, this is gonna look so sick on her. Oh, I'm so glad she went with the darker color. A couple of days since I got my hair touched up. And honestly, it's okay to, for her to have yellow in her hair because green has yellow in it. So when she puts green over yellow, it's just gonna kind of make it a brighter green. It's not going to affect the color and make it turn a weird different color. Um, it's just gonna be like a more fluorescent green rather than a muted down like forest green. I actually prefer leaving a little bit of the yellow in the hair when doing green hair like this. I thought I'd sit on the blonde for a little bit, see if I like it, see if I wanna work with it. There's a splotch. I don't blame her stylist. Like, I bet she has really tough hair to lighten. She probably has really dark hair. Asian hair is known to be very coarse, very hard to lighten. I understand. And I've done neon green, you know? It's a good color. Yo, I can't wait to see this shit, dude. It's gonna be 
the sickest color ever on her. It's gonna compliment her skin so much. It's gonna like really just add to her vibe, make her look artsy and fun and fresh and fierce. And it's gonna be so damn good. And I wanna see it on your head immediately. That's all I wanted to say. Oh, it's dark, dude. It's dark. She is separating into four sections. She's going in those sections. She's making sure they are all perfectly covered, perfectly saturated. It's gorgeous. I'm very satisfied right now. And I just want to sit here and just take all this in and just watch this wonderfulness unfold in front of me. Wow. Okay, Jay. Oh, I see you applying like a pro. Oh, we have drippage. Ah, we have a drip. Do you see it? The only thing I'm gonna say is I'd be careful with those ends, but I mean, she is using a pretty dark color, so you probably won't see any sort of like weird variation between the color on the top and the color on the ends. But if you're doing a lighter color on top of porous blonde hair, the top of the hair is gonna be obviously less porous than the bottom. Porous hair really sucks in any kind of color. Sometimes you can end up with a lighter root and darker ends because your ends really sucked in that color a lot more than the roots did. But I don't think she's gonna have that problem here. But to combat that problem, you can always make your hair a little bit damp at the bottom before applying the color. You can also start at the roots and mids and then apply to the ends like 10 minutes later after you finish the entire head. That way the ends don't sit as long on the hair as the roots and the mids do. But do you, you know? Yes! Go for it, girl. Go for it, girl. Go for it, girl. Go for it, girl. Yo, it's already looking sick. It's already looking sick. Uh, I'll probably show you tomorrow. Show us. Oh, not as blue as how it looks on. Ho, 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 ho. Why is it so blue? Holy crap. Why is it blue? When I swatched it on a white piece of paper, it looked green. Okay, I'll see you when I see you. Yeah, I think it's okay. Uh, I don't love it. It's two colors. She took the words right out of my mouth. Exactly what I was worried about happening happened. I was so excited for this one, dude. I thought this was gonna be like, yeah, like one of those moments where you're just like, well, I'm like, wow. That was a transformation. She looks great. And it really failed to meet those standards of feeling like it was the most beautiful color imaginable. A lot of things that I also don't understand, why are her ends blue? That was actually the whitest part of her hair. So why did the green hair color pick up blue there? Unless she put a like blue in the color that I wasn't aware of, I don't know. But still has all that banding and spotting that's shining through her hair. This is what happens when you don't work on top of a clean slate. When you have errors within the blonde, it still can tend to shine through even if you put a demi-permanent color or a dark darker color over it, your hair will pick up that color differently in different spots that are more porous and less porous. So it created this all around like kind of splotchy mess. She still looks pretty, don't get me wrong. Like, dude, you look awesome. Like it's definitely like an interesting hair color. It's just not perfectly done, which is fine. Like whatever, man. And I don't know why I only use one color. It's very blue. Too big of a fan. When I style it, I feel, I bad. I do feel like it's a little cuter. Here's my hair in more natural way, but even then, not really. I don't know, I thought I would try to grab an extra clip for you guys. I don't think it's working. Anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate y'all. Dude, I feel bad. I wanted it to work out for her so bad. Next time, just work with um, a cleaner slate before going green. I still don't understand why her ends of all places turn blue. Am I missing something? It's been a long day for me, but I like can't understand why her ends would turn blue. Let me know guys. If you're a hairstylist, you know the reason why, let me know down below. I have no idea and I'm kind of interested in why that happened. I don't know, man. I've had enough of that. We need a good transformation here. Hopefully this next girl gives it to us. All right, so up next we have Stella Cini dyeing my hair emerald green. What's going on with your hair, man? What's going on with your hair? Tell me what's going on there. It is gray and it looks dry. It looks like it's just like, <laughs> please give me water. It looks hella thirsty. I'm getting thirsty just thinking about it. Anyways, let's keep watching. Trying to dye my hair emerald green. One specific shade of emerald okay. in my hair. And each time I have failed 
miserably. Wow. The end result that I had like after each dye was actually really nice, except it never turned out emerald. So today I'm gonna give it one last go. I mean, a green hair color is comprised of blue and yellow to make green. So I get the blue. I just don't know why it's such a strong amount of blue. I guess blue just overpowers the yellow in color. I don't know. I never had a problem with making people's hair green. I don't know why this is happening to all these people. I wanna be so pissed if it turns out to be so My hair is kind of this really like, I like it. I really like the color. I it's don't like it. Blueish gray. It's got hints of blue in it, but I'm also noticing that it's fading quite a lot. I've got my roots growing out like crazy, and basically, I'm just done with it. Obviously, the first one that I what are we using? wanted was this color called Phantom Green. Okay, so the last girl just used that same color, and her hair turned blue. However, I don't believe it's the color's fault. I'm not blaming Arctic Fox. I think that it's the palette that the color is working upon. If you were to put this on straight up blonde hair, which would probably turn out very like jokery, it's got no hints of blue in it. So it's definitely not the color that I- That's what we thought, oh, but- I also got aquamarine. Oh wow, this is a little, this is, oh. So my hair already is very, it's got quite a strong tinge of blue as it is. I'm probably going to mainly use phantom green, but mixing just a hint of blue. Girl, watch out for that blue. I don't think she needs any of the blue. She already has like steel colored hair. There's already plenty of existing blue in her color currently. Mixing that blue in might give her another blue haired catastrophe moment. And I don't want that to happen. Okay, I've made up my mind. I'm going to be going in with my original emerald dye, the P623 Dark Blonde Emerald by Schwarzkopf. What? Pearl essence. I'm going to mix it in equal weight parts with seven volume developer because I literally just want to deposit the color but not lift anything. Otherwise, my roots are going to be too bright. <sighs> so we just discussed that the color that you previously used, which is the color that you're now currently using, didn't work for you and turned your hair blue. Why are we now switching back to that when we just talked about using Arctic Fox? What am I missing here, guys? I'm going to go in with Phantom green from Arctic Fox mixed with a tiny bit of- Wait, orange. why? <laughs> why? Very, very slightly with white conditioner, but I'm going to see that as I mix it. Maybe the Schwarzkopf color is a little bit darker and she wants a darker colored green root to lighter ends. That makes sense, but I don't I'm a little lost. So here she goes with this color that looks very icy blue. This is the Schwarzkopf color that she was just talking about that didn't work last time that she's now using again for no reason that I know of. I don't know how we're gonna get a blue color over this dark slate gray color she has existing on her head. I don't know, you guys. I just don't know about this one or any of these. That is blue. I, I don't know why it said it was green, but it's blue. She has a lot of talent with self coloring. So now she has the green and I feel like we're gonna get this kind of interesting blue to green color, which I think is awesome. Hopefully this all works out in the way I think it's going to, because if it does, it's going to be spectacular. However, I don't know how the green's gonna cover that dark gray. I really don't know. I really don't. This is something I just don't know. Oh, that'll be so pretty if it works out. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. And this is my hair. <laughs> Wait! I want to bring you in closer. To <gasps> I've been trying to get this exact hair color for the past three months I've dyed my hair. She what did it! She did it! You right? She really it's did it this time. <laughs> what is the best, like, procedure? What's the best formula to create? This she looks so hot. Holy Emerald. shit. Oh, ho, ho. I don't even know though, how did we go from the hair we started with, that gray, dry, multicolored hair to this beautiful, vibrant, shiny green hair? Ha, 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 It does have quite a strong blue hint to it, which I'm very grateful for because the minute this starts fading, I would rather it fades on the slightly more teal turquoise side rather than the straight up. She side, looks so, so I'm actually really happy good. That. It's literally the color of my dreams. Like I can literally show you inspo pictures that I've been wanting to achieve 
since day one. This lighting really isn't doing it justice, but you guys. Yes, it is. It looks so good. Thank God for that video. Stella, thank you for that. You absolutely nailed that color. That was great. My attitude has really recovered since the last video where it just completely failed. This was perfect. I love the fact that it went from blue to green. It was just a great combination of colors that really complimented her skin, her face, her eyes, her everything. It just gave her such a boost. Everything was great. That's all I have to say about that. So pretty, so awesome. Let's move on to the next video. And our next video is by a girl named Jenna Nikki. And it's dyeing my hair green for the holidays. I mean, I thought I liked the holidays. This is taking it to a whole nother extreme level. All right, let's just analyze her hair real quick like we always do. She's working with the same kind of palette the first girl was. She has this sort of pink root and then she has these kind of yellow ends with the black roots. It's a lot going on. I just hope, I pray, to the hair gods that this all comes together well and it all works out. That's all. So this is the color I'm gonna be using today. <gasps> called Phantom Green. It just so happens to be the exact same color all three people, all two other people used. Arctic Fox, you must be selling a lot of Phantom Green because that is the only green anybody will use apparently. And then I'm gonna be mixing a little bit of this guy, Transylvania. This is like their black color because I wanna deepen the green to like oh. forest green. Because, okay, just phantom green on its own, this is what it looks like. I oh, we've seen it. already. So it's a nice green, but this is a little bit more grinchy. Yeah. Than what I was going for. Like, I'm going for, like, more of a deep forest green. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. I approve of that for sure. Yeah. Forest green. I'm nervous. Okay, let's go ahead and just get started. So I'm going to mix up the color and see if we can get the right shade. All right, so this is what just the phantom green looks like. It's green, man. Just a little bit of... Just a touch of black. Oh, or not. We can just do a whole squeeze of a bottle. And mix those together. That's going to be a really great color for her hair, especially to cover up all of this... <laughs> <laughs> going on if excuse me i mean i don't know what else to call it there's a lot of shit going on over here oh my gosh i'm scared i put too much <gasps> you did put a lot of transylvania it's really dark now oh it's gonna be a dark green ah! we're going for it okay, this is cute. we're doing it kind of nice i hope I mean, it's always gonna wash out, right? So even yeah, even if it's not right. Sure. In about a year, it'll wash yeah. out. Hopefully. Does that look like it's gonna be the same? That's green? not usually how it happens with demi permanent color, but we can bring that. To be honest, I think today. any color is gonna be better than what I have right now. Like my yes, pretty crusty. Like this is the leftover color from the electric, electric coral, electric orange, whatever thing that I just did. So and my coral are super outgrown. But at least this color will cover them up. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This is gonna be so good for you, Jenna. It's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so much better than what you have. I wouldn't worry about it, man. Don't sweat it. It's gonna be so good on you. We'll see though. But yeah, I'm gonna end up bleaching my roots for a different color. So stay tuned for that. I'm always thinking like, three colors ahead. So even after this fades, I have like a different color plan. She's just all over the place. In Transylvania, both have blue undertones. So that's why my gloves are blue. They must have very strong blue undertones because we've seen a blue moment happen on somebody else's head. This color is apparently supposed to fade through the blues and not look super green and yucky, like as it fades. So hopefully- See, that makes sense. It's not gonna look too trash once it's fading. Like I don't wanna have nasty green hair, like faded green hair, do you know what I mean? Yeah, no. When I'm doing my roots, I no, you like don't, you don't. I've seen that before. Shaft, because then it saves you time after, like after you do all the roots, you just have to do a little bit of the end. Janet knows what she's talking about. So she is saying she's gonna do the roots and mids before the ends because you can go around the ends all at once and it's super easy. But the real benefit of doing that is that your ends don't turn dark green and your roots turn light green. You don't want that. Don't we want an all over beautiful color or darker roots and lighter ends because that's how hair naturally looks. It's a bit lighter at the ends typically from sun. And you know, when your hair grows out after the summer, you end up with dark roots and light ends. So that just looks more natural and prettier that way. Even though we're going for a totally not natural color, but it makes sense, okay? I swear, color the hair, Jenna. 
color that hair, Jenna. You know, she's going in there and she's doing a very precise color job. It's what I love to see. It's what gives me life. It's what makes me happy when people put a lot of work into their colors. <laughs> Wait. I'm actually not hating it with it like styled and everything and with like makeup and all this. I feel like it's a look. <gasps> Holy shit. That just made her look like a completely different human being and I love to see it. I love a major transformation. It's so fun to see. However, if I'm giving you a critical breakdown of your color, I'd say there is a few things that I don't like about it. It's a fun color in general. The roots ended up green and the ends ended up blue, but she is wearing extensions, but the ends just look so blue. Oh my God, I came to a realization. Oh. My God. The reason why her ends are turning blue and why the first girl's hair turned blue also at the ends is because like she said, Arctic Fox Phantom Green has a lot of blue undertones so that when it fades, it doesn't turn green, it turns blue. However, when you apply it to solid white hair, you're gonna get all of those blue undertones showing up. It's gonna really suck in the blue. And then what's happening on her roots is that they're yellow because Phantom Green is so strong with the blues, the blue and the yellow are mixing and creating a beautiful green color. Ha, huh. that is what's happening. I understand now. But yeah, it's kind of sad because now we have blue ends again. Oh. She looks cool though. Let's see what she has to say. It's like, it's a look, it's a vibe. It's like a, I feel like I look like I go to makeup school, but without extensions and without any makeup, the green doesn't suit me. Like it's too cool toned. It brings up this like, these greens in my skin that I don't, didn't even know I had. Like these green under- oh, so No! Sickly. So this is not gonna be around for very long. It's pretty much just for the holidays. And I am planning on having a different color by New Year's. I think it looks really cool, but I, ugh, not like the best thing I've ever seen, honestly. Okay. We just saw one major fail, one major success, and one slight fail, slight success. I'll take it, man. I mean, the second girl, she definitely killed it. That green was amazing. I love it. I love green hair so much. If you end up coloring your hair green, send me a picture or record it or do whatever you want. I'd love to see it. Green hair excites me. Nobody really wants green hair in salons. Everybody's very scared of green hair. I get it. It's definitely a look. It's definitely something that you really need to embrace. It's a, it's a hard one. For what reason? I don't know. Actually, I had green hair once for like a day and then I hated it, but that's okay. It was fun. So those are all the girls turning their hair from blonde to green. I had fun watching them. I hope you guys did too. That is all I have for you today. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at Bramondo NYC. My hair care brand X Mondo has dry shampoo dropping on January 17th. I can't wait. And you can find more information about that dry shampoo on our Instagram at X Mondo Hair. And more product launches are coming, you guys. We are about to give the entire world beautiful, glowing, fabulous hair with X Mondo. And that is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.